Hi, this is Andrew from Cobalt Communication and we're looking today at Han Hans Rosling's talk about debunking third world myths. Now I'm, I'm reviewing this talk because it is the fourth most uh, popular TED talk and it's about statistics and it's largely um, a flat projected presentation like a PowerPoint presentation though he doesn't use PowerPoint. Um, and so I, I think it's important to look at how has a presentation about statistics become such a popular presentation. And there's a couple of things. One is that um, the, the, the structure of the content is that Hans is showing shocking things, surprising uh, parts of the data. And that's something to bear in mind, is if you are ever presenting uh, your findings, if you've done a study or uh, you're presenting things, is to look at the novel parts of the data, the surprising parts, because those are the kind of things that wake people up. The unexpected wakes people up. Um, the other reason I think this has become such a popular talk and you'll, you'll see this when you watch the, the session, is it's, it's really the first five minutes. Uh, he, does, he starts with talking about how he got into the field, and then he started uh, showing the... He shows a test uh, that he gave students, and then that's the first surprising part, is uh, that you get that the students get the answers wrong, so do the professors. And... I would imagine a lot of people in the audience would get the answers wrong as well. And then he shows this beautiful demonstration of the software. And this is basically a software demo. The, the major part of the presentation is demonstrating the software that they've put together. Uh, and then that's the bit that, that lights up the presentation, is when he's running around and giving commentary and the, the visual aid that he's demonstrating, the, 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 the software that they've developed, is extraordinary and does things which allows you to see uh, movement and change on several different axes. Um, and that, that's, I, I would imagine a lot of people switch off about minute seven because then from then on it starts to become a bit plodding um, and a bit less clear to follow um, as he begins to com to compare things. And I know some of it I just didn't, I, d I don't, I don't think I fully understand what he's talking about. So that would be the shame of the presentation, is that if I'd been coaching him, I would have got him to show uh, the... If he wants to go, this is great software we've got, this is why I want people to have access to the data, um, I would show a standard comparison in on a slide and then go and then this is a bit better and then show maybe some of the single country data so you begin to show the capabilities of the software um, and also some of the myths that are debunked when you look at the statistics which is his, his higher theme is we need to look closer into the data and then move through to that and then end with the beautiful demonstration of how it all works together when you've got complex information and then it would climax at the end. And that's an important lesson to learn is that you can, it's, it's fine to have like a mini climax at the beginning to big grab people's attention and show something surprising and then move through the rest of your session but have the climax come towards the end uh, because then uh, you're, you're, you're leaving people where they want to be. And in terms of story, that's what we want. The climax comes at the end of the story, not in the middle and certainly not in the first quarter of the of the time that he's got allotted. He does do one thing to notice that he does really well as a statistician, is he sets the context for his visual aid. So if you're ever showing um, a slide uh, or a bit of a graph or something, he explains what's on this axis, what's on this axis. Um, if before he sets the animation going he says well if it, this goes up here this means this, if this goes down here it means this um, and then he sets it going and so he's one thing to really watch for and this is quite a technical 
understanding but it would be really good if you're ever having to show data or data change as, especially uh, is to set the context for what you're about to show before you show it so that as people watch it they're understanding it as it's happening rather than you having to go back and explain it. So at least watch the first six or seven minutes of this session just to see the passion that someone can have and that's the main thing I think that means that um, Hans's talk has got such a response is that those the passion that he shows in those first few minutes is so surprising to us as a because he's such a he's a technical specialist just like a lot of you are I think that if you can find that uh, energy to put behind your words in a, in a way that fits with your personality then that can really light people up as well so yeah go and look at the uh, fourth most popular TED talk that happens to be about statistics and see if you can learn some things about how data can be presented, how visual aids can be used.